Hello students! Today we will further our discussion of exponential functions by considering this fun example about albino koalas. So we are going to consider this problem. Suppose the Richmond Zoo had 12 albino koalas in 2010 and they increased by 5% each year. Our two questions are how many albino koalas should we expect in 2020 and how long until our number of albino koalas is up to 40. We know this is going to be an exponential situation because we have a percent increase. So remember that differs from our linear situations because they increase the same amount every time. Our exponential functions have this general form of y equals a times b to the power of x and the variable is the exponent, which is what makes it an exponential function. A is the initial value or the initial amount of whatever it is that we're modeling, and B is the base, which tells us about our percent increase and decrease that we have going on. Remember that we always have work to do to find the base. The A value, the initial amount, that's the easy part, but we always have work to do to find the base. So in our situation, since we have a 5% increase, what this means is that we're going to get 100% of our koalas plus an additional 5% each year. So we're really getting 105% of the previous term each time. So our B value then is going to be 1 plus 0 0.05 or 1.05 in decimal form. So likewise, if we have a decrease, then our base is going to be between 0 and 1. So if we had a 5% decrease, we're actually getting 100% minus 5%. In other words, we're only keeping 95% of the previous term each time. So B would be 1 minus 0 0.05, in other words, 0.95. Let's go ahead and model our koala situation now. We are going to let x be our number of years since 2010 and y be the number of albino koalas. So our exponential function of the form a times b to the x is going to be y equals 12 times 1.05 to the power of x. Our first question was how many albino koalas should we expect in the year 2020. Well, this is 10 years after our starting point, so we're going to let x be 10 in our equation. What we will plug into the calculator will be 12 times 1.05 to the power of 10, and if we round, we'll get a value of about 19.5. 0 0.5 of a koala is kind of gross, um, so we'll call it about 20 albino koalas that we expect in 2020. To answer our second to answer the second question, we just want to remember what the graph of our exponential functions look like. If we have an increasing exponential function, it will look similar to our red graph here of 2 to the x. If we have a decreasing exponential function, it will look similar to our blue graph here, which is 1 half to the power of x. Since our second question was, when will our number of albino koalas be up to 40, we are looking for the x value, which is the year, when our y value is 40. So we would set up the equation like this. Notice that in order to solve this algebraically, we would need logarithms, which we will take a look at shortly. But for now, we will go ahead and solve this graphically. So what we are going to do is put the left-hand side into y1 of the calculator and the right-hand side into y2 or vice versa, and we'll graph it to find the intersection. Our graph should look something like this. And y equals 40 is going to be a horizontal line. y equals 12 times 1.05 to the x is going to be our increasing exponential function. And we are looking for where they 
intersect. Out x equals 24.7. So remember our x values represented years since 2010. So if we add that 24.7 to 2010, a good answer to this might be during the year of 2034. Now that we've done all that hard work, it's time for a nap. Did you know that koalas sleep about 22 hours a day? Lucky. In case you're still watching, here are some other great uses for exponential modeling.